Hello guys and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint to perfection on these minifigures that come on my Afghanistan patrol set. And if you were wondering they don't come ready made, you have to like build them in their positions with the stand and the gun and everything. So I've done a pretty good job and now I'm going to show you how to paint them really well. First thing you need to know is the gun you get. Paint it black before anything else, or when you stick it in, you don't have to worry about getting it on his suit. Then, the other thing is paint all the uh, flesh colours, like the skin colour afterwards as well. So do all the detailing afterwards, And but before you do anything, you need to do one whole coat of the 1 in 21, uh, 120. One two one, so which is like a desert, yeah, a uh, desert sound color fish costume, and then apply the camouflage. So let's get into this tutorial. Well, sorry about that. I've got the camera zoomed in. So right, so let's just give it a good shake. Okay, open it up. And then you need a really thin paintbrush to do this. Just give him a whole coat of this. Um, afterwards, if you like, you can um hold on. You can actually what's the word? And um, put a gloss varnish afterwards to make him look shiny, but um I don't have that. Which is a shame. Oh yeah, and do all the black bits afterwards, so the boots and everything like that. So hold on while I've done him a full coat. Now, that, as you can see guys, I've done, the camera's really bad, but if I go a distance away it's a little bit better. I've done him all in the colour. And now all you have to do is just wait for it to dry, so blow it. Or something like that, yeah, and just wait for it to dry. But if you can't be bothered to wait, like me, clean your brush and then start doing the black boots or the skin color or whatever. So let's just wash my brush. Hold on, guys. Okay, so as you can see, the entire body's done yet, yeah, already done that, and is dry. So now we need to paint the camo on. Which is a 93 matte desert yellow, and that one was a matte pale stone I just used. So let's just find 93. Hold on. Okay. So here it is. That's what colour it is. Oh no, you can't really see. Let's just. There you go. And just paint it where it says it's needed. So let's let us look in here. Okay, you can actually kind of... Whoa, flipping hell! Well, guys, if you want to see how clumsy I am... Wow! I just draw my paint. So bloody clever. Right. Let's just paint this on his legs a bit. You can... You don't really have to look at the instructions. You can just paint where you like, really. I'm just going to use it from where I uh, spilt it to let us not waste paint. Yeah, just use it where you think it's needed. Dab some dots on like here and there. You'll find it comes off really, really nicely when it's done. I'll show you the finished project. Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to be doing a review tonight when i finished all the soldiers, the truck and the helicopter. And have I got a surprise for you. The helicopter looks excellent, absolutely excellent. Oh, dab it here and there. On the um, backpack at the bottom, right here, I just put it all in camera. Makes it look really nice. Dots here and there. And yeah, hold on while I've done all the camouflage. And there you go, guys. That's it painted in camo. Now you need... Hold on, let me just zoom out a little bit. So let's 
a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you can see my paint splash the the click on it. I'm joking. I don't know why I, I don't know why I just said that. Um But yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Right, now clean your brush, and while you're waiting for the camera to die, uh, dry, not die, what the hell? Um, paint the boots black and the helmet black. So hold on while I clean my brush. Okay, guys, so I've got the black, and now, whoops, I'm going to just paint the boots first. Hold him by the head, because that's the only bit which... Hasn't got paint on. I don't really need to pause the camera for like this bit because it's well, that actually comes off as like a navy blue. That's so quite cool. Should have shaken it before. Doesn't matter. Sometimes the new things are the best ways. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> yeah. That's one boot done. Hold him by the hand. Hold my hand. Okay. Yeah, so this has actually been a really good set, and I'd recommend it to all you guys out there. Um, I'm not trying to be too mean, but... If you're a beginner, I don't think this is a set for you, because, I mean, you can have a go at it if you want, I'm not saying you're not allowed, obviously, but maybe it'd be a bit hard unless you're an um, intense beginner and you're willing to get any job that stands in your way done, then by all means, it is a great set, everything fits nicely to plan, and there's uh, nothing really to worry about, apart from a few... Misfits here and there. What the hell, misfits? Um, that's like honestly the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, misfits, as in things that don't fit. But I get my dad to help me with the bits that don't fit because he has this toolkit that um presses it together really hard. So that's what she said. Woo. Um. So yeah. And I'm not allowed to use it because I'm quite young. I'm 12, and no, 13, sorry. Um, <clears throat> to anyone who's wondering. 12, I was thinking of, because that's the year my brother's in. Year 12. I mean, my sister. Wow, I'm getting a lot of things wrong today. There you go. Now that that's all done, all you need to do now is the skin matte flesh colour for the uh, her, uh, face and hands. And then I'll stick the rest on and show you the finished product, so hold on right there. Okay, so I've got my matte flesh here in the background. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is just dab our brush in. Sorry for the video, guys. Um, no, it kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah. It's the best I could do when I was bored, and I upload a video every day, or at least I try to. Um, I didn't really have anything to do today, so I thought, well, I might as well show you a tutorial on how to paint to perfection. And this guy, I'm not, uh, this way, I'm not trying to be too cocky. But it is the actual best way. Well, in, if you have any other ways, tell me in the comments below. Um, because I, for me, this is the best way. But, of course, it's a matter of opinion. But I've got to say, yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm 13, so I'm too young to use that toolkit. So that's the only, that's only where I get my dad to help. You can't see because my thumb's in the way. Okay, hold on guys, and um, while I stick it all together and show you the finished product. And there you have it guys. Um, it has been a long video on a tutorial how to paint to perfection on this. And that right there is an example of actually one of my best models. I know the camera's rubbish, but if you look at it from a distance, it looks like there, it looks good. 
um, with the stand on, with the gun on. Um, even if bits of the paint flakes off, that's actually good because it gives it more of a weathering effect if the paints flake off. So maybe gently with like a knife or something, scrape bits off. Um, I haven't done that on this one, but that's a perfect example of one of my good minifigures. And that is the building colour thing there. So I, before I end the video, I actually lost the gun, so I had to go looking for it. But uh, that just shows you how organised I am. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to paint to perfection on minifigure soldiers. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked it, and yeah, I need to stop waffling on, and goodbye.